Here's the thing. I want to show you a graph that we, of course, use during the winter season that gives us a projection on how much snow we're going to see. And I'm almost ready to put this away, but I'm going to show you, at least for tonight, looking over the next 24 hours, that we will be picking up some snow over the higher train as we look over the next 48 hours. Nothing of great significance. I don't know if you'd want to be looking at the possibility of hitting a ski resort and looking at some deep powder. Oh, that won't be the case, but maybe picking up two to four inches with another storm on the way. We'll keep the snow up in the mountains. Valley rain expected as we move towards your Sunday. But let's focus in on today. It was a nice day. A few clouds throughout the afternoon through northern and central Utah. Official high in Salt Lake City, 68 degrees. So above normal warming up. As yesterday, we were only in the 50s, but definitely the warm before our next storm as it's going to be hitting with seeing indications of maybe seeing some showers here overnight across northern Utah. Currently, though, we're at 61 degrees in Salt Lake City, upper 50s in Ogden, 60s through Provo. As we show you looking ahead where from the Storm Prediction Center, the forecast for today with that approaching storm system with the possibility of maybe seeing some isolated thunderstorms northern Nevada through portions of southern Idaho. That's for tonight. Tomorrow, though, that storm on the move, it gets here. And tomorrow afternoon, we could see some isolated thunderstorms here through northern and central Utah and more widespread precipitation through those areas. It's kind of going to be a wet Sunday with the biggest focus as we move through the afternoon. Now, watches and warnings, nothing in place. We know winds are going to be picking up, though, particularly central towards southeastern Utah come tomorrow. We could see wind gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour. Probably we'll see wind advisory be put in place for tomorrow, but nothing to highlight, at least at this hour. We are seeing, though, across northern Utah, the clouds and a push of some moisture with some light rain showers through Box Elder County over towards Wendover. And that could be moving through with this band of precipitation that potentially could provide overnight some brief showers. But the more active weather and the better possibility of seeing some scattered sh uh, showers is associated with a cool front that will be moving through, providing that instability, kicking up those winds and bringing in that storm. Again, the focus will be mainly across northern and central Utah. Extreme southern Utah, you'll get the winds, but you'll hang on to the sunshine. But let's talk about the timing of the storm where I have the clock here tonight. Let's roll through tomorrow morning. I Again, waking up, we could maybe see some sprinkles, very light rain, mainly over the mountains where you're seeing the darker green associated with that front. That doesn't track through until about the noon hour and then throughout the afternoon. You can kind of see a rotation there giving us some instability as it tracks through. And afternoon, we could see more active weather with those isolated thunderstorms pushing through. And then by tomorrow night, we start to see some improvements waking up Monday morning, maybe some clouds over the mountains, but we'll kind of clear out for Monday, warm up, and we'll get a break at least one day from additional rain that looks to sweep through Tuesday and Wednesday for northern Utah. So for tonight, there's your overnight lows. Tomorrow's, it will be cooler with that chance of those scattered rain showers. You can kind of see highlighted in green where we expect to see that rain. So a little bit cooler tomorrow with that possibility of some isolated thunderstorms, but not for St. George. It's 80s. It's sunny. A little cooler Tuesday, warmer Thursday and Friday. You avoid the rain. Northern Utah, we have a storm cycle. Tomorrow, Monday break. Tuesday, Wednesday, scattered showers. Break Thursday, slight chance Friday. We'll keep temperatures for most days in the 60s and 70s. A little cooler on Tuesday, but some spring showers moving ahead for the upcoming week.